Thank you. And I'd now like to welcome uh, Monica. She's with us as a Cambridge UCU member and on behalf of the End Everyday Racism Project. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Dear, dear everyone, I'm so pleased you are all here re uh, resisting the urge to work and get things done before we go back for now to work tomorrow. I come here to talk to you about the End Everyday Racism Project, which aims to map out how racism works at the university. The project is a space of listening, healing, and solidarity. By communicating our experiences of racism, be it as target or as witnesses, we acknowledge how much this damages our possibilities of relating to each other, thriving with our brilliant minds. It's an obstacle to our jobs and to our passion for knowledge. If we communicate our experiences, we also open a possibility of dignity and healing from them. We all get hurt if racism and all forms of oppression are left untouched. And Everyday Racism is a project of solidarity, trying to advance the UCU's for fight for equality. But we need more staff voices. We need more student voices. The situation we face and have been facing is bleak now and will continue if we don't demand and show more than just telling what is the cost on us to sustain this model of oppressive academic work conditions. The academic culture we are immersed in is one that colleagues have described as white supremacy culture. One where the following characteristics show up as norms and standards that we are too distracted to challenge. Perfectionism, a sense of urgency, defensiveness, quantity over quality, worshiping the written word, paternalism, either or thinking, power hoarding, fear of open conflict, individualism, thinking that progress, is, that progress is bigger and it should be bigger and more, objectivity, and particularly the right to comfort, the belief that those with power have a right to emotional and psychological comfort, and scapegoating those who cause this comfort. So let's not give up and, de and be defeated by an academic culture that breeds oppression. Do look up. Thank you. Woo!